I was recently asked what an MVP would look like in personalized nutrition. Well, that in my opinion, of course, depends because who are you talking to? Who are you targeting? Uh, and what are their health goals and needs? Because it should essentially be about the user, not about the MVP. However, if I had to really, really give an answer, I would say there are three components. The first one is you need to understand the uh, dietary habits of the individual. So understand not only their consumption patterns, but also understand their food choices. Because once you have that starting point and understand the, the environmental factors that might be playing into how and why they are choosing those types of uh, foods or dietary patterns, um, that should uh, give some, some information and a, a starting point uh, in terms of helping uh, individuals towards healthier habits. The second part is, of course, the behavior part. And the behavior part is important because unless you help somebody to change their behavior through giving feedback, it's very difficult to, um, to encourage behavior change and, of course, motivate um, uh, uh, adherence. And so first one is nutrition component. The second one is behavior. And the third one is a digital component because, of course, it's important that the individual doesn't have to continuously write down on paper or continuously uh, send messages via text, uh, but that it should be a very seamless process, uh, leveraging technology to make that interaction between submitting data and giving the feedback very, very smoothly. And of course, we have technology now to do that. And so um, I would say in terms of that MVP, always think about how are you addressing the nutrition component or how nutrition connects into the health component? How do you address the behavior component and how are you going to deliver that actionable recommendation and feedback in a very, very easy way through a digital component?